Mimi kwa majina naitwa Nashon Wanjala. E, natoka Navaholo Sub County Kakameka County. E, e, Kakameka Central na tunashukulika na mambo ya Spitfuck na mimi ni mmoja wa wale wasimamisi eh, katika eneo hili mradi huu kulingana na na maono yetu tunataka uende mbele saidi ili tuwe na wa, wa ushirika juu kitu chenye huwa tunataka tunataka upanusi na kila mmoja kutoka maeneo mbalimbali tutakuwa kama funzo na tutashikana mikono pamoja ili tuendese huu mradi na uwe mkubwa saidi challenges so nyambaso tunapata huku nje ni kwamba hii covid 19 ina yani inaenda kwa sekta kwa sekta sauku ikileta ikileta uchofu saidi lakini kwa yote eh, tumeprovaitiwa na na mask kutoka kwa government uh, my name is Sharon Jebiwatki Prono I've been the head of the Atachizi here in Pimak International uh, they they have been uh, good students uh we have had a good teamwork together going to the field together uh doing the office work and also training the the community uh they've been good students also uh we've learned a lot from our supervisor mr pais mochi uh leadership skills trainings uh being an incident commander also first aid we've learned a lot um what i can say the challenges we faced here is um, during uh field work we had challenges with the transport issues uh, because we were to uh finance ourselves uh, we were to finance ourselves when we are going to field and also you know as a comrade that was a big challenge to us yeah and also another challenge was a uh, during raining times where do you reaching this place and also coordinating them was not an easy task uh just coming up with an event and telling them to come show up that was not easy well uh, we've done a lot of things to the community one we've created groups uh clubs emergency and disaster management clubs and also we've trained the community there are some courses short courses we've over, offered to the community uh leadership uh courses on anti terrorism attack search and rescue uh disaster management and recovery uh the emergency management all of those those are the courses we we've, we've been training the community so far advice I which i can give to the community uh you know safety begins with you and uh it's not a matter of uh the government coming to your doorstep and telling you you need to do this and this to learn so that you can you can uh be safe uh, since uh especially to the people of western kenya uh, pimak international and spedvac area within uh, why don't you come and learn these free courses you've been offered you can you will be offered a certificate and also it's good for your for your own uh, for your own you gain skills yeah those are those are the things i can say also the, to those people uh students uh those who are finished from four and they they have not joined any campus or college they can come here and learn and get some skills okay ah uh, since you're finishing our attachment i would like to say thank you to our uh, director mr pais for being a good uh team leader teaching us uh and also uh being a role model to us right now most of us uh, we, we are we are leaders in this sped work and we will continue with it yes 
Uh, my name is uh, Evan Sutianakula. I'm a student at Masinde Mulira University. Currently doing my fourth year pursuing disaster management and international diplomacy. Uh, I'm currently an intern with, at PMAC Consortium, uh, which is the parent organization of Spedvac, Organ uh, Spedvac International Company. Uh, I joined, I came here, I joined the organization on June as an intern and so far so good. Uh, I joined it as an intern but I've managed to gain a lot as, a, as an intern, as a professional and also as a student, as a student generally. Uh, uh, PMAC, PMAC currently is working on SPEDVAC which mostly the, the most initiatives are now under SPEDVAC not PMAC. So even in the field work that we've been doing, we've been doing it under, under SPEDVAC. And I can say, all, all I can say is that SPEDVAC is the, is the way forward and it's, it may not be so much public right now. Many people may not have heard about it, but I can tell you it's a, it's a promising organization and it's going to, to do a lot in the safety communities uh, or ensuring the safety culture within the communities. Uh, there are some trainings being done at SPEDVAC currently. I've been honored to be part of them. I've been a trainee, I've been a trainer, both, both. So that's the goodness of SPEDVAC. Even as a trainer, you can still be a trainee. And even as a trainee, you can also be a trainer. And it depends on what, what you can offer to the community to, to help in prevention of disasters and even mitigation of the disasters and even to prevent them generally to prevent them from happening so that's all I can say it's all about sped Vakanda me and my, co my colleagues we've gained a lot of experience a lot of uh, inter inter communication skills with the publics so it's, it's a it's a good platform as, as a disaster manager as a student and even as a professional and it doesn't and the good and one thing about sped Vak is it doesn't limit anyone you know it gives everyone a chance, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a, a professor, whether you are a student, whether you are even unemployed, but you can offer a certain level of skills, then you are, you are, you are welcome to join SPEDVAC. Yeah. So that's all I can say about the organization. And, uh, and uh, I can, all I can urge is you join us, you come join us, because we are, we are everywhere now. And this is, this is a new era, so we are everywhere, globally, regionally. And uh, with time, you'll be able to see. So if you are lucky enough to get this, so you can just come and join. And join us to do the, the work that we are, we are supposed to be doing. The, the, the work is just about, okay, Spedwork is about safety. And so the work that we've been doing, all of them will revolve around safety. For example, first aid training, how to handle yourself in case of an emergency, that's safety how to prevent uh, disasters from happening to other people, that's safety, how to t teaching the community on emergency response. Uh, so everything is just safety, but, uh, all, but the mostly it's training about safety towards disasters. Safety towards disasters, because disasters happen in very different aspects, personal disasters, communal disasters. And uh, so being able to know, knowing those skills will help you both personally and maybe will help you also to help the, 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 the villagers, the communities, the people you meet, even anywhere you'll be traveling. So these skills, these skills that we get here in Spedvac can help you anywhere and everywhere. So long as that need arises, if you're equipped, you'll be in a better place to, to you'll be in a better place to, to help, to help people. Uh, my name is Wako Diba Jatani, a student a finalist student at Masinde Muliru University of Science and Technology, uh, pursuing Bachelor of Science in Disaster Mitigation and Sustainable Development. Uh, I'm a member of a Spedwa community that is a PMAC International. Um, I came here as an attache. I've gained a lot of experience uh, from Mr. Pius Masai Mwachi. Uh, through this PMAC International, we have been mobilizing the communities and uh, uh, for in establishing the uh, emergency and uh, disaster disaster clubs in the communities. For example, 
so far we have uh, managed to establish around three emergency and uh, disaster management clubs in the society uh, it has been great yeah at pimac uh, i've, I've uh, managed to improve my my skills like for example skills in search and risk uh, skills in uh, emergency evacuation skills in uh, uh, skills in first aids and then i have improved my communication skills so far very very nice uh, it has been great here okay some of the challenges that we have been facing uh, uh, whenever we are estab establishing emergency and disaster management clubs in the society is uh, uh, people are very reluctant uh, people are most of the times after money uh, once the clubs has been formed established uh, they'll be waiting for some kitoki dog from people uh, th those are the, some of the challenges that uh, hinder the the, the progress of the clubs most of the time uh, here at our office uh, uh, as you can see uh, we are do we are doing great uh, so far so good uh, we are doing well here personally i've experienced uh, uh, challenges like for example uh, the place of my residence is Lurambi up there near town uh, walking between mm, walking between my residence to office is uh, a long way like for example like 30 38 minutes something like that and then uh, sometimes in the evening there are rain there is rains raining and then uh, this one forces me to take uh, a means of transportation like uh, mod, uh, bo uh, boda boda tuk tuk uh, and as our economy is today this one is uh, not easy thing uh, but i'm doing good thank you okay i'm um, by the name samuel majok i'm masa sudanese i've been here entire my life in kenya i started my education here in kenya from standard one up to the university level and uh, actually PMAC, I joined PMAC uh, through a friend of mine. Uh, he just mentioned PMAC, uh, what they do, what they are specialized in, uh, dealing with the humanitarian issues, disasters, risk reduction. And I feel that it is one of my area uh, in the course that I'm pursuing. So it really gave me uh, no choice but uh, to make sure that I be part of PMAC uh, through internship program. And I'm so grateful to where I've reached now. Nimefraia uh, sana. Na nimejifunza mengi kutokana na PMAC. And we have seen that uh, PMAC has given birth to SPEDVAC. So SPEDVAC is just an initiative of uh, PMAC. And uh, through SPEDVAC now, uh, I've joined as one of the members uh, representing South Sudan. Uh, special Chief Coordinator Unlimited uh, and I know that the skills and experience that I've gained in SPEDVAC are going to enable me in supporting community not within South Sudan only but the entire world. Uh, actually uh, any journey in life uh, when you start a journey uh, it is not easy but always we know that through commitment sacrifice and working smart uh, I think we can overcome any challenge and uh, actually there are ch challenges that we face through uh, the activities that we have been conducted at communities and uh, actually one thing that we realize is that there is a lot of ignorance within the communities because actually the courses that we were offering, the trainings, they were just for free and when you inform people they will just say they will come and afterward they don't show up so there is a uh, need to be a uh, there need to be having community empowerment, inform, informing these communities about the importance of safety culture. Because we know that the reason why we have many problems is because we are lacking uh, safety culture within our environment. Because it has to start right away from home and now it goes now to the next level, which is institutions and maybe through interaction with other individuals. So the challenges that we have experienced once is about uh, the community uh, lacking the knowledge of uh, safety culture and we try to address those problems. Second to that, 
uh, there was also language barrier because sometime going now deep into the interior part of the uh, these communities, the remote areas, you might uh, find some of these people, they don't express themselves either in Kiswahili or in English. So it is a problem. But uh, such problems can be addressed through maybe by uh, employing the interpreters, maybe to enhance the communication being received by the communities. Okay. Yes, my name is Elijah Wanyonyi. I am a disaster management student from Sindem Luro University. Currently, I'm fourth year. I'm here at PMAC on my internship program. So, my journey with PMAC started from last year. Most probably on March, I heard about, about PMAC from a friend. That time, I was looking for attachment, but COVID dis disrupted the process. So, he recommended me to Mr. Pius Masai. He gave me his number, and later on, I contacted him, and since then, I have been in communication with him. So, when this year reached, and the school sent us for in industrial training, so I came here at PMAC. So, I came here at PMAC, and until now, we are progressing on very well. PMAC is an organization that deals with mainly global safety and to save lives. It is a, a, a humanitarian based company. Since then when we started our program on May this year, it has been a very comprehensive program. We have been through clubs, we have gone out there, interacted with the communities through clubs, through public participation. We were at a place called Esishiru. I remember when we had started this program, an accident happened there, and our supervisor came and told us that at that point there's a problem there. Many accidents are happening there. So it was the first place where we visited. We assessed the area. We engaged the locals. We sensitized them. We trained them on first aid, road safety. We formed a club there, and until now, it is still progressing. We are in constant talks with them. So, it is a very good initiative. It has given back birth to an organization called Spedvac. And Spedvac is, is, Spedvac is an organization that has come from PMAC. So, it is championing for for bottom up approach in that it is channeling the resources from the communities the communities themselves are the ones who have the resources so we are forming these clubs they will be for their own self help gains thank you oh um amotino joseph currently the Uasingishu County Coordinator at SPEDVAC. So my, with SPEDVAC, it's all about serving humanity and, and also my course which, and also my course which we go hand in hand with the objective of SPEDVAC. I would like to serve the community and everyone in it globally, yes, from the community level up to the up to glo up to the world globally and also my journey through spedvac it began from pmac from pmac last year i i just had the i had the info from my friends but i didn't really i didn't concentrate on it till this year when i, I started to narrow down to the basics of pmac that's where it led me to spedvac Yes, that's all that I can say. Okay, currently I'm accessing, I'm, acc I'm in the talks with the wards administrative representatives and the sub-county administrator so that we can enable us, it can enable us to create a disaster clubs at those wards from the community level. So from that is where we'll start managing the 
disaster, be it emergency, yes. The type of disasters and emergency, we like road accidents, fire when there's a fire outbreak. There is also the issue of family conflicts. We, we can also come into that since we can resolve conflicts. Yes, those are the few common examples of disasters and, emer yes, and emergency that exist in our society. My plea to the society is that Spedvac is the place to be. United for safety being our motto, I'll urge all, our, all the community, every individual who will get access to this information, to come and join Spedvac. Okay, my name is Steven Angaya, a student at most fourth year. Since I came here at PMAC International Limited Consortium, I've had a very good experience, exposure, learning. Generally, I can say we've created a very big impact at the community. People have come here for training. We've went to the co community like uh, the center to train people on basic first aid skills emergency management, how to respond to accidents. So it has been a very good exposure. Training people, standing before a, a large crowd of people, talking to them, showing them the skills on how they should respond to emergencies. It has been a very good exposure for me. Um, my name is Frenda Akisa. Uh, I've learned a lot from Pima. At least I've gained some leadership skills and also some confidence si kama kitambo vile nilikuwa nimejoin then the impact that i've made to the community is that we have established some disaster volunteer clubs at the community uh, and we are planning to boost them uh, again i've also i'm also the chief trainer's course that is special community officers feedback training thank you people of Shikangania, I like to advise them to use this facility very well. I have noticed that so many people have not, uh, they, they are not making use of this facility that we have here, the PMAC. So many people, we, we had a, a program to train the community. Unfortunately, there was a lot turn up of people. So many people pledged that they will come for the training, but very few came. So I'll urge the people of Shikangania to make use, good use of this facility and ensure that they interact with the Pius Masai Mwachi, who is the Director General of PMAC. He's a very intelligent person. He has so many information to give out. In fact, it's for free. You just come, you be trained, you get skills, and you go away with your skills and help other people. Kindly make use of this place.